Hey there, so welcome back, Jeff Coughlin again. And this time I just wanted to show you the instruction booklet that comes with the kit. Um, this is the new Special Hobby 72nd scale Short Sunderland Mark V. And we've already looked at the other in the other video at the kit itself and it looks to be a superb uh, production, I must say. Really, really good. And here we've got the instruction booklet, which is uh, well laid out. It's all got some clear symbols and all the rest of it. And early on, you quite quickly discover that you've got a good indication here of quite a few bits that are designed not to be used with this kit. So that makes me assume that there must be, I would imagine, uh, or I hope there will be other versions or another version, uh, perhaps the early versions of the Sunderland coming out in due course. But straight away you get inside and you can see you've got some good colour references and I'm just checking out to see. Um, yeah, okay, so paints and so on we've got here, various Gunsy colour references by the look of it. Yeah, Gunsy colour references um, for the paints. And immediately you can see that actually what you have is a pretty detailed model. This whole interior looks really impressive. Even here you've got the uh, lightning holes in the uh, seat supports. You've got um, nice bulkhead detail and the internal detail, of course, and, and especially the cockpit itself with the main instrument panel, control yokes and columns and all the rest of it. Then you come inside the main cabin, plenty of detail going on here, and you've got the, uh, the racks um, for, for the bombs and, and all the rest of it. So really, really impressive. Um, bomb stroke depth charges, wherever it was, I think they carried both. Um, yeah, looks looks amazingly well detailed inside. And then here you've got, you've got that lovely corrugated bit here, which we saw in the kit video. So check that out if you haven't yet seen it. All the internal framing looks uh, looks exciting too, because that's uh, some of that is going to be seen. You just need to, um, um, I suppose, decide what of it will be able to be seen or not. Well, we'll cover all of that when we do the full build in SMN, which will be coming along in due course. Um, even even the anchor, would you believe, you've got here in the front of the uh, the bow of the aircraft. Um, so so much internal detail is is nice to see. Different options now. You've got different. You can see separate sections here for the upper fuselage um, choice there um, for the um, keel on, on the bottom side as well. Good little hints and tips here, suggesting here watch for the. Uh, the fit, uh, test fitting stuff first. Well, that's always good practice, no matter what the uh, the kit is that you're building. Um, and then as you can see, it builds up moving on to the floats, uh, engines and turrets and so on. What looks to be quite useful here is that you can attach these turrets by the look of them later on in the build. And that's a really smart um, bit of design engineering by uh, special hobby, so well done for that. And here you've got the beaching uh, gear, which is great to see too. So that gives you a chance to um, pose your model, perhaps on a slipway or on a hard standing there, just so that you can you can see it if you don't want to stick it in a water base, which of course is uh, uh, a separate uh, task entirely. A um, little bit of photo H here. Um, mentioned this or showed showed you this in the video, and you just get the actuators for the um, elevators. Um, there and then moving on we get towards the final little details various antennae and so on and then we get into the different color schemes so um basically post-war uh Sunderland's we've got here this is a mark five from RAF Selatar in Singapore really nice kind of overall uh scheme with the medium sort of faded kind of medium sea gray on top and then you've got the flat white for the the, the rest of it I mean that's got some great weathering opportunities don't you think um, challenging, but, but great opportunities nonetheless. Um, French naval machine, which is always good to see. Um, Escadrille uh, 50 S4, Ecole de Nation au Pilotage. So that's an interesting scheme if you want something a bit different rather than a uh, an RAF aircraft. Um, uh, similar, but different. Uh, another Mark V. Um, let's see where that one is. Also Solitar. Yeah, absolutely. I think they are they all. Uh, no, this last one is slightly different. Um, same scheme again, um, but this one's based um, or flew in from and around the um, Hamburg territories um, in Germany in 
Uh, when does it give you the details of that? Uh, 48, that's right. Yeah, I was just thinking probably around 48 time. Okay, great. So that's 230 Squadron Aircraft to finish up with. Um, and a bit of marketing on the back. But yeah, so there we go. That's the instruction booklet from this really nice looking kit from Special Hobby. That's the Short Sunderland Mark V in 70 second scale.